we are still on uh, internal thoughts now. We are going to look at uh, stator problems. Okay, that is problem with the yoke. This is the stator. That is the part of the electric motor on which the winding is wound. So there could be problems with them. Once there are problems with them, it can affect the efficiency of the electric motor also. So the stator winding fault is one problem that is associated with motor as we have seen earlier. Okay? There could be open winding, there could be short windings or short to ground as we saw in the earlier section of uh, this training. Okay? So these are some of the problems you see. This uh, because of the blast, this is an open uh, circuit at the end of the open winding at the end of the day. Because the winding in this case is no longer continuous. So as we identified earlier, all those factors could result to this kind of situation. And once it happens like this, we need to uh, try as much as possible to put in place measures that will prevent such factors from coming together and causing this kind of problems. So these are some of the things that we've seen before. This is grounding of uh, the winding within the slot. Okay, this is shorting, shorter turns, open winding. Okay. So we have seen all of this in the earlier section where we are considering the, the factors that can cause burning of the electric motor and the bone pattern to assist us to identify the possible causes of those uh, bond, uh, there is of those uh, possible causes of the winding getting burnt. Okay. So uh, another thoughts that could be associated with uh, the electric motor is when there is shots that could be caused by the partial discharge in the windings okay that is usually caused by weak insulation once the insulation is weak you see that as the voltage is running through as current is running through from that weak point you see that uh, the the possibility of the the current escaping through that weak point will be increasing over time. Are we getting it? So if there is anything like such, there, it means that from that weak point where we already have partial discharge, it will eventually cause failure. But partial discharge usually happens at the area where the solution has been compromise there is the special discharge of electron current trying to jump through to ground okay or from winding to winding then the stator itself it is possible for it to have some fault this is the yoke of the stator which is the main part okay where the winding as you can see is laid okay so things like this can result to stator damage. That is, you see, this is a clear case of rubbing of the rotor on the stator. So this stator, you see that the yoke has been damaged. Okay? And then here, if you look at it too, there is definitely a... Uh, the winding is already shorted to either the rotor or to the yoke in this case. So loose laminations too, these are the laminations, you know, if they are loose, it can, during operations, it can increase the vibration of the electric motor, okay? So you usually see this as the, uh, the frequency of the power supply in your vibration spectrum. Are we getting it? Okay, so once the core is cracked, like in this case too, it can result to problems within the electric motor. So the other external factors like the power supply issues, we have been discussing all of this earlier. So you can also check our earlier 
videos the description will be uh, the link to those video will be um, posted on the description below the link to them will be posted on the description below so those power quality problems okay which are standard to the electric motor itself can introduce fault conditions within the electric motor all the conditions that we have been uh, considering since from pont winding especially it can result to damage to the electric motor winding maloperations of the electric motor so in this case we are looking at what is available at this bus okay that is fed eventually to the electric motor so you can check the link below or our uh, earlier training okay the link is also below on power quality problems for us to appreciate how those power quality problems okay or issues can affect the operations of the electric motor